What's going on guys? Welcome back to our legacy mode and this is with Andrew Young, the middleweight outside fighter. This is not Drew Washington, the heavyweight thug. This is our proper career. Um, this was the guy we said we were going to fight because I th think we went five rounds in last time. So we're going to see. Oh no, hold on. We've been training New Mexico, haven't we? I like training New Mexico. Alright, before we uh, jump into this, let's have a little look at fight history. Um, LeVar Ward was the last person we went five rounds with. Obviously, other than that, we've had seven, uh, hold on, six first round KOs in a row. And then round two, um, we pretty much let McDonald into the second round before we decimated him. Uh, but yeah, we're still the dominant beast that we've always been. Um, we're only 82 overall at the minute. That you know, you know what's gonna happen, guys. It's gonna go straight up. Um, we're gonna double in the bag. It's gonna go straight up. 90, 90, 93, something like that. It's gonna be crazy. Um, we're gonna do two sets of skills training to really push up, to see how far we can get our overall up. And um, should be good. Should be easy. I'm not. Um, I, you know, I'm kind of. We're kind of just, just defending our titles now. That's literally it. Now we're just defending our titles, getting, uh, getting those wins under our belt, and that's all we're doing. We're not. We're not too bothered, you know. We can't really get any more titles. Um, this is kind of this series coming to the coming to the end. Um, you never know what can happen. We might end up having an absolute war after war after war from now on, or we could carry on just destroying people because of our insane overall. So as always, we're just going to abuse the uppercut with this because it's easier. Uh, it's more points than any other shot, so it's the best thing to do. That guy over there is doing burst. Oh, he's doing push ups. He's just waiting before he does his push ups. Okay. I like looking around the gym. It's weird how there's actually. I don't know what that guy's looking at. I think he's pretending to look in a mirror. Come on. Here we go. Punch, punch, move. I've been playing UFC, but I feel like I'm still going to remember these buttons more than UFC. Because uh, the UFC buttons are a little bit slimy. They're not very smooth, the UFC buttons. This, these buttons are much nicer. I'm going to see if I can actually change the UFC button so they match right now. Where's the zone? Where's the zone? Quickly. Oh, yes. Lovely jubbly. 88 overall. We'll go rest, skills training, rest. That's what we'll do. Because normally we do athletics, but for now we'll just uh, we'll do skills training. Yeah, let's do skills training. Let's do defensive specialist, um, and then we'll do rest, and then we'll see what overall we're at. It might work out more to actually do one skills than two athletics in twenty than than ten. You, I don't know. But I'm still unsure what's the most effective. <clears throat> sorry, which which is the most effective way. Um, they both seem to get us to 90 overall, so we're just going to see what double skills does. We haven't actually done like double skills training in a while, so we'll just have to see what it gets us to, and go from there, I suppose. Keep light on your feet, kid. All right, All right here on, we go. Let's go. See what where we're at with defense. This is so much fun. I love the head movement on this game. It's so slick. I think it was UFC 2 done this as well. And for some reason they, they changed it. I hated when they changed it. It fucking ruined the whole momentum of the, the head movement thing. Oh my god, this this is just easy peasy. Work it, work it, let's go. Oh, you got this one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That was good. 
Keep moving, kid. Keep moving. That's it. Weaves are your best friend. Push it, kid. Keep it up. You need to keep that head moving. Oh my god, we are insane. Was it defensive specialist or was it spawn where I hit like 70,000? That's it, kid. 45,000. Easy money. 93 overall, let's put us up to. I wish we had another week of training because I could get my strength up more. Still, 93 overall is nothing to complain about. And I'm pretty sure we can't actually spend any XP yet. We'll have to just double check, but I'm pretty certain we can't. Let's rest. Alright, let's have a little look at the fight preview. It's going to be pure decimation again. 92 to 80, Jesus Christ, that's going to be ugly. What does he have? Right, I have jab and straight, obviously. He has, right, he has right hook, uppercut. I have body, I have combinations, I have blocking, I have him. He has 20 chin, I have heart. Okay. This isn't, what's his toughest? 74. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, he's going to go down the first. I'm calling it. I am calling it. He is not going to make it out of the first. But anyways, as always, guys, I will um, do my shorts, and I'll catch you guys in the um, in the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our pay-per-view special. Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Max Center, just off the Vegas Strip, for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Twelve rounds, middleweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Young so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be to pass that hand as he makes his way down to the ring. I've gone with all white for this fight. Probably more so, Teddy, than any other sport. These kind of fights stand the test of time. All-time epics. Round one now is underway. Oh, bitch. Locks away that headshot. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Well, I'm just looking at this matchup here, Teddy, and you know, he would really prefer to have a guy who just oh, is coming at him with some reckless aggression, a come-forward kind of guy, but that's not what he's up against tonight. He's up against an outside fighter, a guy who boxes and utilizes the jab. Yeah, it's going to be tough, and you're going to, I'm going to say that the guy who boxes uses the jab, if he stays to that, if he stays disciplined with that kind of game plan, it's going to be a tough night for the counter puncher. Because he's going to come out of his, he's going to have to come out of his comfort zone and probably walk forward more than he likes to. Oh, and he's got something for him himself. One thing I will get more ready is he's blocking and moving really well. But we, it said that he had good movement. Ward's blocking ability is doing well for him there. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that Get off one. Me. Yeah. Get him. Come on. Come on. Huh? Miss me. He digs into the body again. We know we know that the water's tough. That's, that's one. Get he off. clinches when he gets to the inside. That's one thing we know. Oh, 
fair play to him. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Hmm? What's up with it? We're gonna do slides. Oh, they bang. both land flush with uppercuts. Ward's defense. Is it ever good? Well done. Well done. He's able to fair play. He's, he's a tough and dude. that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Oh, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. You know. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Good block by Ward. Ward's being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. Halfway through this round. Okay, fair. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Come on. Fires right back at him. No, you can stay busy. I'm not going to stay busy all the time. You can stay busy. Come on. Come on, it's not, it's not down to me to push the action. No, absolutely not. I should have to be the one that always stays busy. It's ridiculous. That's how my stamina gets drained. It's a bit boring, but I'll fucking wait around if I have to. I will wait around if I, I don't give a fuck. I'll wait around all day. And round number three is underway. Come on, bitch. Huh? Huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Is it just push like Young's that? Done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Huh? 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 Comes right back with some offense of his own. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent. That and was a, a good fucking combo. combo I've Young. ever seen one. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He's working the box. Oh, sometimes the controller on the, doing the PS4 exactly controller on the PS3 is shocking. To be a strong defensive fighter, you gotta block those punches away. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Come on, bro, I'm here all day. I'm here all day, baby. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Huh? I'm here all day, baby. You don't scare me. Young's so dangerous with that accuracy. Huh? A two-punch combination landing. Huh? Ten seconds to go in this third round. Wards hit by a big oh, and there go. Let's go. The last second. This round and he goes down. Bang. Can he survive it? He'll get up. He'll be fine. I think that um that two was more the, the perk I have to instant stun. He's fine. He's fine. And that's the end of round three. 
Okay. See, we know Ward is tough. This is a classic example we're seeing Ward here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, so I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose to Ward because he's really wearing himself out. He's working no, so hard. I'm not wearing myself out. So down the road, does he pay a price? No. Ward's almost as if. He's scared to throw punches right now, that he's just thinking strictly about defense after being tagged earlier in this fight. Well, he needs some help in his corner. That's where a good corner comes in right now. They have to straighten his mind out right now. They have to give him another way of attack. They have to give him a plan B. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Let's go. Perfectly executed combination. Whoa! That was pretty, down. That was pretty, pretty tasty, count. actually. That shit. That shit. Oh, he's down. He's down. Will he get up? It's over. No. The fight is Clearly over. Not. Young's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. That was enjoyable. Thank you for round. Wanted to hear those words, and he did. And still that the champ enjoyable. defending his title. For my partner, Teddy Atlas. One thing I'm I can Jim say about that Sessator, fight is finally a tough fight. <laughs> like, that's what we wanted. We didn't want a first round knockout. That was a tough fight, that. I started to get a bit worried when he was just, like, taking shots in the first. I was like, my God, he's just eating my fists. <laughs> Like, he's not bothered about me at all. Like, I am literally, like, taking his head off, and he doesn't seem to care. But, no, that was, that was a good fight. Well done to LeVar Ward. Yet again, two fights. He's been the guy to challenge me the most. Unfortunately, not challenge me enough. One thing I noticed in that second round, though, was the fact that my stamina was lower than it should have been. And I was like, oh, oh Jake, go away. This guy, look at this dude, go away. Oh, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, this guy I am gonna knock out in the first round. I'm gonna break his face. I'm gonna literally shatter his fucking face. Because I just don't like him. Of course, we didn't win fight of the year. All that. Oh, we won knockout of the year, though. Let's go. What about in the middleweight division? We won fight of the year in the middleweight division, finally. We won knockout of the year, we probably also... Oh no, okay. You know what, for one, I'll take that. Anyone from our division retiring that we know? Yeah, I don't blame him. Never fought those dudes. Oh, LeVar Ward is retiring. Fair play. He gave us some good competition to finish off the year. You know, he obviously wanted that to be his last fight where he would win the title and redeem one of his losses. Uh, but no, <laughs> we stood in the way of that and we knocked his ass out. But he gave us a good fight and I respect that. All right, guys. Well, um, next fight will actually be our forty-sixth fight, which will put us to ring legend. Um, so we're not far off. Look, ring legend exceed forty-five fights, and then greatest of all time exceed fifty fights. We're not far off now. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.